Hey everyone, my name is Kim and you are tuned into Kim E, the Diabetes MP. Welcome to the Patient Corner. Now I created the Patient Corner as a resource, an educational resource to those who are diagnosed with diabetes or have loved ones with diabetes who are looking to learn a little bit more about different things within the diagnosis. Now today, we're going to talk about some of the classic symptoms of diabetes and they're more formally known as the three P's of diabetes. You have polyuria, polydipsia, polyphagia. Polyuria is increased urination, polydipsia is increased thirst, and polyphagia is increased hunger. So if you would like to learn a little bit more about these classic symptoms of diabetes, stay tuned. We're going to get into it. So signs and symptoms of diabetes can be very gradual, okay, especially with diabetes type 2. There's lots of research out there that people can really have the diagnosis of diabetes up to like 7 to 10 years before they even know that they actually have diabetes. A lot of times people don't even know that that's what's brewing in their body. So it's something that can be overlooked. Now, when we're talking about the three P's of diabetes, polyuria, polyphagia, polydipsia, a lot of times you may not experience all of these, or maybe it's going on, you just don't know that it's going on. It's something that can be easily overlooked. Now, typically with your polyuria, people know if they're urinating or going to the bathroom more. People know if they're more thirsty than normal, sometimes. I live in Texas and it's very hot out here, so having increased thirst could just mean that it's hot, you know what I'm saying? And lots of people have increased thirst. So that's a way that people can overlook it. And then polyphagia, to be really honest with you, okay? We live in America where we overconsume food. And we also have emotional eating. People eat when they're sad. They eat when they're, they're happy. People eat, you know, at all different times. And so increase in appetite, increase in eating and hunger, it's kind of hard to nail down for some people with the untrained eye. The thing about the three P's is that they're very connected and they, they kind of, in a sense, one can cause the next one. And it's a continuous cycle that keeps happening until it is rectified, okay? Now, typically with these classic symptoms, they arise because your blood sugar is out of control. It's not what we like to call under glycemic control. And so these are those first few signs and symptoms that you may experience before um, even being diagnosed. And your doctor may even ask you, are you experiencing these things? So just think about this as I go through each individual P. So with polyuria, like I said, polyuria is increased urination. And actually, in the bigger scheme of what would cause polyuria, diabetes is the most common cause for increased urination. Now, what happens in your body in a nutshell, okay, is that your body is has a high amount of glucose or sugar floating around in the atmosphere, okay, in the bloodstream. And your body, by sheer nature, our bodies always are trying to correct imbalances in our body. So your body is trying to offload some of that glucose. And the way that it does it is through the kidneys. And that is why you will have increased urination. Your body is trying to offload that extra glucose that your body does not need. So let's just think about this for a moment. Now, if you are offloading a more than usual large amount of urine off your body, okay, what would that leave you? It would leave you kind of dry. That would lead to uh, dehydration, which would what? Make us thirsty. And that is how you get that, poly, that polydipsia. You get that increased thirst because you have just offloaded this glucose through your urine in large amounts and now your body and your cells they're dehydrated so now quite naturally your body is going to want to take on fluid hence why you will have the increased thirst polyphagia is increased hunger 
Now, as a diabetic, your body has an increased amount of glucose that is circulating in your blood system. Now, our bodies do need glucose. Our bodies actually crave glucose. Our brains crave glucose as an energy source. But the way that it uses this as an energy source is that that glucose has to not be in the blood system, the bloodstream, it has to actually be in our cells. And what happens in diabetes is that that glucose is not in the cells, but it is in your bloodstream. So what happens if your body cannot use the energy source that it loves and that it needs and that it craves is that what happens is the cells become starved. Now, a signal is sent off to your brain. And of course, like I mentioned, your body is trying to correct itself. It's always trying to heal itself. It's a powerful machine. So the signal is we need more energy. And one of those signals that is sent off is to eat more, to gather in more food, to gather in more carbs. But the breakdown is those carbs are still not getting into the cell. And so it's a continuous cycle of your body trying to correct itself, but that glucose has nowhere to go. It's sitting in the bloodstream. And so in a nutshell, that is your polyphagia as it relates to your high glucose. Okay guys, that's all I have for you. This was a quick video and this is what I aim for for my videos in the patient corner is that they're just right to the point and they just give you a quick overview so you can understand some of the terminology that may be used um, around you and that you can understand the different levels of your diagnosis. I hope that you walked away from this video knowing what polyuria, polyphagia, and polydipsia are and go ahead and watch this playlist here and it will give you a wealth of different other patient education videos that are in the patient corner. Again, you have been sitting here with Kim E, the Diabetes MP. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.